What just happened? I stood here and it opened. I'm guessing it opened because I had the barcode of the soldier on me? Okay. Oh! Hey guys, and we're back with more Generation Zero. We're back in the bunker where we ended the last episode. Between the last episode and this episode, I have been in the other safe houses just so I can use the workstations because I don't think there is a workstation actually here unless I missed it. Let's go over to the houses. Also, we're gonna be cutting out um, some of the standard looting like the cars. A lot of times you just get the same loot over and over like this explosive tank. That has reset as well. That's very strange. I haven't touched my game files or anything, so... This should not have reset. We must have forgot to loot it, to loot it last time. Anyway, so I'm not going to go and include a lot of these basic simple loots in the video anymore. Let me know what you think about that because um, we only really want to, I suppose, on the video, see the progression like going through the houses that we actually have to now, you know? And again, the loot that progresses the story or if we find weapons or stuff like that. So the rest I'm kind of trying to skip across a step past. And it also means we have more progress per video. But it's just something I'm playing around with in the moment. So let me know what you think about it once you watch the video. Let's go and check out the house. When we originally played this, there was actually drones here. And they were flying around the area. Maybe there's a couple of drones left in the neighborhood. But I'm assuming they were part of the world progress, these drones, and not... Uh, the character area spawn or whatever you want to call it. Okay, we have something here. Justa, det här är Anita Vareru. Vi är man och skjutit till flera minuter. Jag försöker få tag på Peter och se om försvaret har kontaktat honom, men jag har evakueringsplanen hemma. Så ring mig så fort du hör det här. All right, um, what I decided to do for these things, I just let them play and I shut up while they're playing, even though probably the majority of people watching this video don't understand what they're saying, but you can see the text in the bottom of the screen, so you can just read that while that is playing. And people who understand it, you can watch it uninterrupted. There's a weapon crate here in the top of the house. Oh, look at that. A hunting rifle silencer. That's another one. That is amazing. I love it. Okay, there's definitely some more action over there by this house. Yeah, we can see someone there. Is that a runner? I think it's a runner. We get a little bit of loot here, and I think... Yeah, we have a couple of guys here. Wow, that is a massive mech on the ground there. Whoa, okay. That was... <laughs> yeah, let's use the silencer. Okay, that was actually not bad. There is a lot of loot here. We had already a couple of rot, uh, robots here, mechs, and a couple of soldiers. So you get a good bit of ammunition here. So I, I would say it's definitely recommendable to blow this up if you can. There's one of those drones. There was a drone left. That is intense. Okay, let's see what loot we get. Probably just the same ammunition. Oh, got nothing. Okay. And just to quickly reiterate before we get into the second house, I am looting all the surroundings, absolutely. So I looted all these buildings down here by the pier now. I looted uh, the building right there as well. And again, just ammunition, bandages, nothing really exciting. No schematics, nothing. But if I find them, absolutely, I will show that in the game. But otherwise, I will just loot them off camera because it's just more of the same kind of loot you know but we leave the rest of the action but anyway have a look and let me know what you think um oh let me know what you think about the about it uh, in the comments below okay let's get into the second house and see if we can find any clues to continue is it gonna show me exactly to the item i think so so yeah I think it does, so we have to go upstairs. How do we get upstairs? Oh, wow, look at that. That is insane. <laughs> Holy balls. Oh, look at that. We got an extended mag magazine for the... Oh, we already have one in the action. Key pist. Uh, key pist. Oh, wow, what is that? An Automatgewehr. Wow. Okay, the next clue is supposed to be upstairs. So let's have a look. There we go. 
Bring weapon readiness storage key, Lieutenant Underhag, 1400 hours. Don't forget, uh, don't forget the, 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 don't forget the what. I just noticed that a lot of the random houses that we have here, like this one here, and there is one over there as well, and one right here. They're locked, and they actually say you need lock picking. We nearly leveled up again, and then we can spend a point in lock picking. So I'm going to keep an eye on that, and as soon as we can do that, I'm going to take it back. But anyway, there's also a weapon crate here, so let's see what's in it. In this random house. Another pump action shotgun. Very nice. Okay, I think that's it. We should level up now. <laughs> I saw movement and I thought, oh yeah, let's head over there and see if we can kill one or two just to get an extra experience point. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna loot up. Um, gonna heal up. I'm gonna loot up. I'm glad I went through all the houses. I got like over 40 healing kits, but yeah, definitely gonna have to loot all of them now and uh, get my ammunition back at least. And then we're going to spend one point in lock picking. There we go. And there's only one point needed, which is actually interesting. So what is salvage? Increase the amount of ammo found. Oh, wow. This one is a very good uh, tree. So I believe this was one of the houses that needed a lock pick. Oh, it just uses it. There's no challenge or anything. Okay. I don't think there's any ticks in these houses. So let's see if there's any. Whoa. Okay. Let's see if there's anything special in those houses that are locked, or why are they locked? What special loot may await us? Yeah, there wasn't really a lot of special loot or anything. Actually, it was no special loot. It was just a gas mask and a couple of textile resources, and that is pretty much it. So this house over here is completely barricaded, except there's a shed here we need a lockpick for. And then if we go up here on the house, we actually can get to the um, upstairs door, but it also needs a lockpick. So now that we have the skill, we can actually open them, which is really cool. Oh, that requires a lockpick. Okay, so there better be special loot in here in these houses. <laughs> I mean, oh, hello. Okay. Oh, wow. We found the three out of three weapons. What weapon was that? Was that just another... Oh, it was just another hunting rifle. Okay, so nothing special really in this regard. Okay, let's get into the last house. Okay, what do we have? A map. Okay, I need a shuriken's evacuation map. The paper to the map says evacuation routines in case of important public announcements. Air sirens, evacuate the salt and bomb shelter immediately. Civilian evacuation sirens, rally point at Salt Vallen IP for military extraction. So maybe that's where we have to go next. Uh, the map highlights both Salt Vallen IP sports ground and the salt and bomb shelter. Okay. All right, that's it. I think we're done. Um, the home team quest I'm going to get to in a second. Mission completed, the road to Saltum. Excellent. So we did complete it. Very, very nice. Now, the home team quest, what that is about is... I went up to the sports field where I got all the extra robots that attacked me, where I thought there was one, there was actually loads. And as I got up there, I uh, triggered this mission, basically. 
Okay, we're here at the sports field, and our next clue is right over here. Nice another lock uh, hairpin. Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Okay, so let's um, read this first. That's the map. Okay, so what was that clue? That clue? There we go. Pick all this up as well. Anything else we can pick up? Yep, yeah, there's something here. What is that? A field radio. A field radio creates a mobile rendezvous point for you and your friends, allowing them to fast travel to that spot. Wow. Is that a permanent one? I think that was something that was originally there as well. I remember that. It kind of rings a bell. Return to base. Over. Okay, they will lock down at 10. That's your status. Over. Can I not answer? I mean, this is not a recording, so it has to be live. So we're still... Oh, locate the military base Veslan. All right, where's that? Military base Veslan. Oh, wow, that's all the way all the way here. Okay, what is this? I was just on my way to this area here, and there's this alone building with a lockpick. Oh, wow, look now that is worth it whoa and we got more lock picks very good i love it what do we have here a handgun compensator i don't even know what that is okay we're gonna have to check that out i mean our handgun let's see what it's compensating for a compensator attachment for selected revolver handguns attaching this mod will reduce the recoil of the weapon revolver so we can't actually use this on our i don't think we can use that here no, it's not something that um, we can attach. Okay, I'm just on my way, and right here on the field, there's something very dodgy looking. Looks like a plane. Okay, we got a runner. Oh, yes, got a seeker drone. I'm gonna keep that one away from us. Okay, the runner probably will come over here now. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, I thought we jumped back. Wow, this gun is not good. Yeah, okay, we got him. Whoa, and there's another dude. Make sure he's not gonna hit us. Okay, we avoided him. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be going with these pistols um, for much longer. So the next time I get back to base. Wow, but this is pretty impressive. Okay, these guys don't have any loot. That is an insane. Is that a fighter jet or something? Wow. That is beautiful looking. Well, it's completely wrecked. But it looks amazing. <laughs> wow. That is insane. Oh, there is something. Oh, we can search the body. Okay. Yeah, that is pretty intense. Seems we have a little bit of a party here. Um, I'm actually getting a bit nosy around this area here before I head up there because I'm not sure if from there we're going to get to come back straight away. And there seems to be a bit of a standoff. Well, there was a standoff. There's some... Yeah, they're still alive. And then we have a tank here which is blown up over there. Nice! I'm just leaving the farm. Uh, just ammunition, textiles, things like that. And there's this little truck here, and look what we find right beside the truck. That is amazing! So let's see. It's another SMG, but it's a level 1, so we could scrap it for resources. Absolutely. <laughs> that was 
was intense. He flew all the way over here. That was intense. There's another guy there, though, I think. Yeah, where is he? Oh, these guys are already dead. Where's this guy coming from? Oh, ow! Oh, he's a big guy. Ooh, okay, we're gonna have to hide from him. Oh, and somebody coming from behind? Okay, let's run towards him. There we go, we got him. Excellent, let's heal up. Ooh, let's heal up quickly before we get completely killed. Let's go behind here. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. There's another guy. Okay, let's hide, 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 hide. Oh! Oh, my balls, man! Oh, yes, got him. Right in the armpit. Okay, hang on. There's one more guy out there. Let's quickly eat two of them. Whew, okay. Let's get the loot of the big guy. That took me completely off guard. Okay, here's some steel ins here, some hollow point. I did not expect this big guy. Okay, I'm so glad I'm playing this on normal difficulty or on skirmish difficulty. I think I would be. Ah, come on. Seriously? He evolved to level two. How do they level up if they don't kill anybody? Now, who leveled up? He leveled up. Let me see. He's level two now. But if they don't kill anybody, how do they evolve? Oh, okay. I'm, I, I swear, by the time I get there, they're going to be like level 100 or something. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look here. Um, we're getting closer to where we have to be, but this uh, here is the road. The official road to get into where we need to go and i assume that going the official road means i come across more loot in this case across more death yeah that big guy that's where you want the shotgun i suppose oh there's something flying here somewhere let's see if we can okay that's nice i like that There we go. Oh, quick. Okay, is there anybody else coming? Oh, there is. Potentially all the way from over there. Yeah, 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 I can see you. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And is there any guard robots? No, it's just another. Okay, maybe you have to aim a little bit lower. There we go. Nice. I think that's it. Oh, there's another one coming around the corner here. Potentially from up there. Okay, we don't have if we don't have to fight it, then we don't have to fight it. Let's loot this guy. Whoa, 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 whoa! What is this? So I'm assuming this reads... Oh, a key card. Officer abandoned notebook. Let's read it. I've lost contact with the platoon. My key card is no longer working, but I saw the machines enter the big gates before. So they must have some passage barcodes of their own unless someone on the inside let them in i guess if oh crap i can hear something coming come on out 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 <sighs> okay we got this guy okay we need some key cards Whew. okay there's more coming I guess. So let's look through the bunkers and see if we can find any more keycards. What just happened? I stood here and it opened. 
I'm guessing it opened because I had the barcode of the soldier on me? Okay. Oh! Okay. Wow, okay, I did not expect that. I was just looking around and it scanned me again and it opened the door and I was like, oh, okay. How come it opened the door? That was a crappy throw. What is our mission now? Oh yeah, we have to follow this icon. Okay, let's head in here and see if we can find a way. Oh, what is this? Heavy machine foots have hurt in the distance. The enemy is approaching and about to engage us. We require urgent reinforcements. Repeat, urgent reinforcements. Response over. Machines getting closer. We have a visual of 45 machines approaching. We won't be able to hold um, salt, homstung, and much longer. Respond over. Platoon, get ready. Okay, let's continue to look through the bunker. Any more ticks? Oh, this is big guys. I don't think they're ticks. They're big guys. Okay. Okay, we can hear them. Oh, wow. Oh! Really quickly. Let's get him. Two for one! Two for one, baby! Woo. Okay, I think we got him. I think we got them all. I love it. One came jumping down and he exploded right into his own foreface as he came jumping down. Okay, this is not the power room it turns out to be. Can we close this door, by the way? Okay, it's open now. So, this should stay open. So, if we get... If we come from this side... We should be able to open this now. Okay. There we go. Big door. Big door. Big door. Keep it relaxed, keep it relaxed. Come on. Oh, okay, we got a big guy in here, got a big guy in here. Something just jump out, yeah. Okay. Whew. Power room. I think that's it. Let's go up here. Is that where we have to turn the power on? Yes. All right. We finally can see again. Good. I like it. Now that we have power, we can theoretically check out this other door here. I'm running low on these bullets. Okay, let's 
see what we have. Is this room just loot or is there anything amazing in here? Just some basic loot. Okay. Okay, it opened up. What is this? What is this? It's another entrance. Okay, so we're here. Was a Commodore 64 ever used for military? Really? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. That seems made up. They must have had different type of, I don't know, Pentium 186 or something like that. I don't think a Commodore or an Amiga was uh, the computer of choice for military. Could be wrong. Okay, here we go. There's one more door. I'm going to quickly check out. Okay. I think... Oh, nice. We got another silencer. That's pretty good. There's another Commodore. Oh, what was that? A plast-resistant pants. Is that a schematic? Nice. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, let's go. The command center should be here on the left. Yes. And it's a safe house with a box and everything in it. Nice. Safe house unlocked. Beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Westland, this is Bertil Ludwig. We have opened a position in Ibo Holmen's slots ruin. But civilists in Anita Sjögren have not been noticed. No threatening or threatening of that type she described has been noticed or observed. But six men registered the signal. Fiend! Look at this! We're going to get the shot. Lieutenant Emma, this is Westland again. I have to use the telephone when our radio communication is down. Det verkar som att radiomasten nära Grantorp används för att störa vår kommunikation. Sannolikt sabotage från fientliga operatörer i förberedelse för huvudanfall. Telefonnätet kan stå på tur så vi behöver veta vad status är för radiomasten på Saltonsbasen. Kan ni bekräfta att det är radiomasten? Okej, det här är väldigt intensivt. Så, igen, just in case you understand that I just decided uh, it probably is better when I'm quiet. So we have main missions, calling for first contact, another castle where the sun sets. Okay, so we have different type of main missions now that we can use, that we can pick from the warboard. Wow, okay. Oh, look at that. What is that? Oh, uh, what is that? Does that mean there's... I, I have no idea what that means. I have to check that out. I have to look that up. All right, it says we're in combat. But anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. This was absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And see you guys next time. Until then, as always, fish pass and happy gaming.